hours ago, and she is with the survivors of the storm that happened today. Liz, what's going on? Yeah, Raphael, I'm right near the underbelly of an RV that was pushed on its side by those high winds. According to the National Weather Service, the wind speeds reached up to 136 miles per hour, causing several collapses. Several structures collapsed in the area, garages, homes, even a Starbucks. We reached out to a man who captured video footage of a Starbucks that collapsed. He was inside a restaurant right across from that Starbucks, and he was able to capture that footage as the building went down. He said it all happened within eight minutes. He was on top of the restaurant trying to fix the roof. When he got the alert from the National Weather Service that the storm was headed his way, he ran for cover inside that restaurant. That's when he pulled out his cell phone and captured that Starbucks coming down. Uh, he explained to us what he saw, how he felt as that building crashed to the ground. I, I saw the roof, it just it just peeled off the building and then shortly, right almost instantaneously, the building collapsed and uh, immediately my heart sunk. I knew there were people in that building and I just I instantly felt for them. I was just like, I was expecting the worst. I was able to knock holes into the wall so I could communicate with them. I, I used a brick and just bashed holes, let them know that you know they were all right, the storm was gone, let them know the building had collapsed, that they were fine, we were gonna get them out. And uh, being at work, I had my tools in my pocket, so I uh, was able to get the pins out of the door hinges. We were able to get them out that way, and I used my drill to take the door hanger off, and then we were able to take and throw the doors to the side and help people slowly and carefully get out of there. And I spoke to a spokesperson from the National Weather Service who says a confirmed F3 tornado passed near the back end of that Starbucks. The winds from that tornado went through the doors, went through the windows, ripping the roof right off that building. Luckily, the workers inside that Starbucks were able to huddle inside the bathroom for safety until help arrived to help break them out of that bathroom and help them get to safety. But some very, very scary moments out here in Kokomo as people brace for that tornado. Like I said before, the winds up to 136 miles per hour. People just bracing for the worst, but happy that there were no serious injuries out here in Kokomo. Raphael.